Y'all know what Segata Sanchiro means. I'm just gonna switch it up for now, cuz. We're gonna play more Albert Odyssey. I'm gonna wait for a little bit though. People get in. Let's make sure we're all good here. Yep, we're all good, seems like it. So, like, actually, I haven't played this in about a week, but only because doing other things and it's time to do last part of the game stuff there we go I got my comfy chair got my blanket I'm not wearing any pants which is the best kind Put this out to uh, other places real quick. I was just kind of waiting around a little bit and just making sure everything looks and seems like it's doing all right before I got started. Now to stretch. Before I do the... It sounded a little jagged? Let me see here. Good now okay okay and I do have my fan I, I do have my fan on as well um, I did turn down the uh, audio a little bit my I'm a little further away from my microphone right now uh, so maybe that either helps and I, I do have my fan on but it's pointed away from the everything and it's just kind of let circulation flow it, it's kind of miserable in here without it <laughs> and I, I'm not doing this professional <laughs> Is it game audio? Okay, we'll see how it gets when it sounds from the... Uh, okay, good, I sound good. Well, that's the thing, I always sound good. Okay, never mind. Um, we'll see how it sounds with the audio, with the game audio as we go. Okay. Plus, I've sort of rigged this up a little bit weird, so hopefully it doesn't go too bad here. So I actually haven't played this in like a week, so let me, I gotta double check my stuff. sound good at least I'm good with that more like Sega Uranus okay never mind <laughs> nah really got him good job so <laughs> doing that Sega all that Sega stuff so 
If I explain the plot as to what's going on here, um, basically, we're in the second half of the game. We have a villain this who's revealed herself, and uh, we have to go to four towers now to uh, break down a barrier. Um, we have a new girl. She's a little. She has a. She's a little mage girl in the in the middle there of the party head lineup, but she's in the back. They're a pretty big party. We have the full party now. Um, and they're, they're, they all have their specific roles in battle here. I had to, get, had to remember some major things here. Thing about this game, uh, enemies can block really easily. Oh, I should turn my phone down here. Also, uh, I, I love the uh, battle victory animations uh, in this game. They're great. Uh, her, uh, the the mage girls. There's my personal, probably my favorite. Very good. I think I was uh, grinding up a little bit before I go in, but I think I'll uh, heal real quick again, and then I will save, and then we'll go off to, I think, the South Tower first. If I remember where I'm going. There we go. go. I'll drop a just quick save to be careful. I'm actually not sure how hard this game is going to go uh, for its uh, last thir uh, last part here, but oh, I hit the wrong button. I went up and I went to the north instead. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this quite casual. So if I, I can, it's a JRPG, so I can pay attention to the chat easier, uh, especially with the turn-based RPG. But I did want to check one thing also. There is one place I think I want to go before I... Okay. Dude, neat turns in this airship, it's great. Oh, the, rain the rainbow cursor in the menu. Yeah, it's alright. town was that? It's not that one. I think it's that one. <laughs> We're drifting. Drifting in the sky. There we go. There we go. Mm. Um. There we go. I got this. If I had the 3D controller, I could probably do this easier. Oh, I have the 3D controller. I just don't have it plugged in. I'm using a, uh, the controller I'm actually using for the Saturn right now is, uh, a RetroBit controller, actually. It's a wireless, 
uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, a wireless controller because um, I like 2.4 G better than uh, Bluetooth just because and uh, seems like it's less latency and I have there he goes I'm actually looking for the uh, item shop I forget where it is there it is I want this item shop especially because I think they have revive items. Yes. I am going to just kind of stock up on those. Anyway, I'm using the, uh, so yeah, I'm using this RetroBit controller, which I actually like quite a bit. It's, it was a little tough at first on my finger, uh, or on my thumb, for, uh, like, nights. But, um, it actually worked pretty well. I, I replayed, uh, Panzer Dragoon or, t uh, Zwi, and that was, that felt actually really good with it. So that's the final dungeon. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's just like a 360 analog controller. It's shaped a little different. It's shaped differently though. It's like a cir it's like a uh, it's actually shaped like a circle. Um, I'll take it if you can probably look it up on um, on you probably can do like a image search of it. But um, if not, I can post a picture of it one day if you want me to. If it's curious, but it is a uh, it's, a, it's a 3D controller, but the uh, the actual uh, the actual stick is like a uh, it's like a circle it's like a circular ball that's uh, concave. It's like a concave ball. It's not like the N64 controller at all, and it's not like the uh, the DualShock either. It's bulky, but it's also kind of comfortable. <laughs> like like if I had to choose between using the Dreamcast controller and the 3D Saturn pad, I'd pick the 3D Saturn pad any day. Tower time. Yeah, um, the the triggers for the uh, for the L and R button are actually kind of nestled in the in it itself, and your hands kind of just feel really good in it. I somehow got it when I bought Knights at like in like when I finally got a copy of Knights in like 2011, 2012, somewhere around there. Um, I was actually able to get the, actually, I got a copy of Knights with the Saturn pad, with the pad. I was like, oh wow. I think back and I'm like, oh wow, that was actually lucky. Uh, I'm not sure what they are. Okay, we're well, let's roll it. Watch your hit. There we go. Yeah. Her animations are like my favorite. <laughs> So hey, Ify, I, I did see you there when the initial D. I didn't say hi, though. I see you've joined for casual JRPG night. And I'm mostly doing it tonight because uh, Socks cast uh, 99, uh, no, top 99 is tomorrow, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to stream tomorrow night, because that's going to be a, uh, that's going to be a trip if knowing what games that I put on the, the list have not been uh, listed yet. 
and uh, thinking about other people's lists too, it's gonna be a good list. And I, I, I had actually posted my personal list on Twitter via just one large thread of things, so y'all already know what I put on there. My list of excellent choices, such as uh, putting Undertale in the 50s. Undertale is very good. It showed up in my 50s, so, like, it's very good. It showed up on this list altogether. <laughs> this random encounter rate's gonna be something. <laughs> oh man, dark tree. Oh wow, it's called a dark tree. <laughs> oh no, I guess the uh, I guess the name of the enemy. I haven't seen this one yet, so that was fun. Darn. Hmm. That's fair enough. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff happening in uh, Undertale, and knowing the engine it was made, it, it was made in Game Maker, so I, I feel like, oh wow, that whole game was made in Game Maker. That's a lot. <laughs> enough um I've I have two physical versions of Undertale <laughs> couldn't tell how much I like that game though I will admit I I liked Delta rune chapter one I don't know I'm I'm, I'm watching I think about Undertales, and then I'm thinking about Paper Mario right now. <laughs> Specifically, I'm just like, hmm. Well, I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it. And then, oh, which one was it? Um. Oh no. It's okay. Mostly with Undertale, at least, the, uh, just the overall fan base and the overall sort of hype that game did receive, I, I think, months after it did come out. It, it took a little while. It, it, it didn't start right away. Um, but it did receive a very, very vocal fan base very quickly at one point. Um... I, I'm trying to think of maybe where it came from, like what website. I'm thinking Tumblr, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Yeah. Eka gained a lever, level. Grizz gained a level. Maybe it was Homestuck because, uh,. If I remember right, Toby Fox did do Homestuck stuff. Not not like entirely, but of course he did like a, a few music things for Homestuck. Okay, I was wondering if there was anything there. Yeah. 
And uh, to- Toby Fox was also uh, someone who was in the Earthbound, who- who'd worked with Earthbound stuff, uh, Earthbound fan stuff as well. So you got a little bit of that mother in Earthbound fan base, which are quite vocal about their own game, about their specific game. And- In, th- in that specific way. I know there's a lot of comparison between um, Earthbound and uh, and Mother. I- I'm actually not sure. I've actually not seen as much of that as I think I have. As, as that. I mean, I've always compared. I've always compared them a bit. In fact, I have a I have one friend who uh, wasn't quite impressed with Undertale as much, but he's a big uh, he's a big Mother fan. Like uh, Mother Mother Three is probably his favorite game. Like probably his favorite RPG, or, or at least one of them. But um, yeah, I think Under I think Undertale stands on its own. Like I I don't compare them as much. They they're both doing their own thing. And I'd say, like, if you're talking about Super Nintendo JRPGs, Earthbound would be my number... Like, if I'm going to pick, like, my three favorites, like, Earthbound is on that list of my three favorites. See, I like talking like this. I can do I can do JRPG and talk at the same time. It's amazing. I enjoy um, NES RPGs anyway, uh, so uh, Mother One is actually quite the uh, e- it's quite a uh, fun one as well. I think. But yeah, Earthbound. I, Earthbound is a is a favorite as well. Mage girl. A little confused. Um, there's a lot of sp- like Mother One has a lot of space. It, it's, it's very spacious, but it's um, it's got its own linear track, just like I think Earthbound does. And Earthbound really is kind of an update to that game. Like, a lot of SNES games are. Uh, the sequels of SNES game, the, the sequels of NES games are just... Or SNES games that are sequels are kind of just retellings or reimaginings of those original NES concepts. Which is, I think, one weakness, I think, of that library. In a way, but it has their own strengths for other people. Uh, Earthbound very much is almost a remake or a reimagining of Mother One, even though Mother One is telling its own story. Like the Queen Mary stuff in Mother One is really, really good. Um, well, Earthbound has its own take on it. Ooh, got gold bookshelves. They're good. They're all good, though. Mother 3 is good, too. <laughs> Whoa. That guy's big. That's a big... That's a big one. What, what are you doing? Lots of bunk. And that's a second block. I don't like that.
block him with his veins. Well, you know what he can't do? He can't block magic, so. mind the uh, random encounter rate at this point right now because I am getting good EXP and I'm I have a feeling I'm gonna need the good EXP <laughs> there's another one I think we're gonna see this guy a lot I, I know, Jin, I know, Jin. You mentioned when you were uh, playing Silas that the random encounter rate was kind of the the main problem you had with it. And I understand. Um, they've got their own appeal and their own problem. I, I think their own problems. Oh, that's good. A lot of a lot of the abstractions came from uh, mostly limits in resources in uh, resource management and uh, time for a lot of JRPG stuff. Uh, the main thing was to kind of have some sort of uh, way to show some kind of some kind of required battle happening to recreate Dungeons and Dragons or their pen and paper RPGs. In a way, so a lot of this stuff also comes into like you know when you're playing through like Ultima or even you know older PC RPGs. I say Ultima, but really my my main through line there is wizardry. <laughs> Mostly because I ooh ooh I played the wizardry NES Frost Genie. Getting nice big enemies for this part of the game. Holy crap, was that a, uh... Was that punch what I thought it was? <laughs> Is this what the kids call a Jojo? Okay, that's, that's all I'm making. I see. Um... There we go. Thank, thank you, Ify. That's what I want. Dude <laughs> comes in here too with the JoJo. Is that a JoJo reference? I mean, if this is Star Platinum, I'm not too surprised. Everyone, all just doing it. I would not be surprised if that was some sort of uh, star plot. Because when is JoJo three part three? Like, what year was JoJo part three actually? Like the manga? I don't even know. Cause like I have the Dreamcast game, and that's based on. Part three. Oh, that was a mimic box, wasn't it? The noogle box. That 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 box is uh has that tongue action it's looking at us.
Whoa, that's a lot of damage. I still like Kia's uh, laugh. Her, her victory animation is my favorite. I did start play. You probably did see. Yes, I, I did start just experimenting with FF14, uh, just to you know. I haven't played an MMO in a while. I'll have to make sure I, don't, I still don't like him as much. Still having. I'm actually having quite a bit of fun though. With the, I like the battle theme. I like the battle theme a lot. have the worst time committing to MMOs, and I probably won't play it tonight because I'm playing, you know, something else here, but I, I will, I, I will keep going here. I'll probably do some tomorrow. I'm already, like, level 8, so there's that. <laughs> there, I, that's either a, uh, for MMOs at least, that's either they, that's either a, uh, full recommendation or a um or they're, or they're telling you not to play they're just protecting you mostly uh, it sounds like they're just protecting you It does help though I am playing it for my PS4. So I can at least like, you know, play actually play it. Cause like even with streaming here, I'm actually just using my uh consoles and capture card, so it actually does help. My main thing, my, my main problem though, really, is that I'm really shy, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have problem when I actually have to make a party or like join a party to do a dungeon eventually. I, I know that's gonna be my problem. Because <laughs> I'm super shy and I don't, and I'm not confident enough to know what I I know what I'm doing. But I picked the uh, thumbtage <laughs> anyway. That's cool. And I mean, I'd, I'd watch out for their stuff. I'd help watch out. I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite responsible. But I also... <laughs> That's good. That, that actually does make me feel a little bit better, actually. I think uh, Liana told me that I have to worry about... Um, dungeon when I hit, like, level 15 or so. So that's kind of my... That's my main worry. <laughs> but it sounds like I might be alright then.
The duty finder? Okay. Alright, real quick. I, I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna let Kia here attack, because her, her attack animation is also my favorite. <laughs> she doesn't do much damage, but she rewards you with that. Oh good, yeah. I picked a class that I felt two things. One, would Chorus do this? And two, what would actually be easier for me? And I was thinking about something like deep. I was thinking about like, you know, just one of those main attacking classes. And just to start out, just to make it a little less to worry about with like healing and things like that. It's like it's DPS, just uh, hope someone heals me. There we go. So far, uh, Thaumatage plays just like Melia from uh, from Xenoblade, which I'm actually quite used to playing as, so I was like, okay, this is actually, like, something I'm already used to. It's stacking up elemental, you know, stacking elemental, uh, damn, you know, elemental effects with magic, and like, okay, I know how to do that. I played Xenoblade. Yeah, I saw, I've noticed that. Yeah, I've noticed that you want to use fire for damage and then blizzard for healing it, and then use uh, blizzard for uh, MP. You have that spell that switches your uh, elemental. Uh, I forget which spell. I forget what the spell is called, but it's cool. <laughs> Transpose, that's it. Yeah, I've, I, I was like, okay, I get, I, I'm starting to get this now. Once I learn transpose, and then I actually found this, the spell, the spell list uh, that you know that Thaumatage learns. So I'm like, okay, I know what this does. I'm, I'm sort of seeing it now. I'm like, yeah, I know. I know how Final Fantasy works. And I'll be well on my way to, uh, I don't know, do whatever the game wants me to do <laughs> at this point. It is tripping me up though, because with the with MMOs at least though, like there's actual story content in this game, huh? I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, shoot! I like story. I like the story in RPGs. I'll play. Sure, I'll play this. I'll play this for the story. I, I've actually heard Heaven's Ward specifically as like the one is like the good one. Oh crap! I, I've heard Heaven's Ward is really really good. I'm like, I'm actually mostly excited to play that. I think if I just play that, I'll be good. <laughs> he's he's having a good time. So, uh, if you were here last time I streamed this game at all, this is actually the, uh, the dorky thief. Or, the, 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 uh, guy who we were chasing down before. Um, he's... He, it turns out he's alive. This might be a long fight. All the bosses in this game have been really long, so... This is probably gonna be long. So... Ooh, this battle theme. Let's see, let's first... Let's throw up... This number. Um... 
There he is. real quick. A lot of bosses have actually not been good with magic, but I will go ahead and try this guy real quick just to make sure. Ooh, actually, hold on. She's good with magic. She wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be. Um, hold on. Also, yes, the, uh, the silence... The silence item is a gag. She's gonna use burst flow the entire time. Cool. Hey, it's Dances with the Woos. How you doing? playing a JRPG, which is typically how you're going to find me anyway. So, don't be too surprised. I know that's party, but that is a more powerful fire spell. So, I'm going to use that one instead. Actually, I am going to not use <laughs> Actually, I think of the human enemy sprites, he's the biggest one. Um, the, the, all, all of them are a little taller. <laughs> You know what? Now I should probably heal anyway. Uh, he probably is quite big, at least. So, like, I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if he was uh, at least a little bigger.
just extra. Because uh, the Invigorate and uh, Lifesaver are actually two different types of buffs. So I can access at the same time. And actually, for healing, the big secret with Grizz is that he has a very good healing spell. That does not use MP, but it does not let him attack that turn. It, it's kind of an interesting balance. And just like a warning real quick, every boss in this game has been really, really long. So we might be here a while, so you can talk with me with whatever you want. <laughs> since you're stuck, since you're streaming here with me, you can bother me about anything. Flare. Does magic actually work on this guy? swing. Ah! Ooh. That was everybody. Though he's now uh, changed his attack, that means we've done quite a bit of damage to him already. Most important to keep alive. If she... She gets attacked, she dies quickly. She is very squishy, so we're gonna heal. I'm gonna heal Kia, just because she's very squishy. With, with her bounce like that, you, you can tell she's squishy. <laughs> That's just in case heal, so. She's squishy. Go. 
I not lying. Uh, every boss in this game has been very, very long, so um, I expect the gauntlet of fights that we actually that I actually have left in this game to still be quite long. Sorry, I'm just contemplating. <laughs> contemplating what to do about Liana. <laughs> Dang, don't don't attack Mage Girl. There's not much I can do about about Liana, not much I can do. Yep, that's what you are. That's what you are. Ooh, ooh, don't crit Grizz. I've used Burstler about 10 times now, maybe 11. Cool. Grand Swing, here we go. He should go first before he does, okay. Grizz. I'm gonna try something. I know I haven't been using this, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Cool. Actually, does a lot of damage. Shoot, I'm using that from now on. MP. Let's... Hey, hey, Pike, why aren't you pulling your weight? That was a big thunder attack. You should use that more often. It's almost like the person who's playing this doesn't have any control of you, but he actually does. That's gonna happen multiple times, so I do apologize. That does do damage. I am gonna do healing. I am gonna drop into the healing breath, though. Yes, that that is exactly what he's doing. That is a. Uh, he has no MP, so he can do that. 
without spending MP, but he does not attack that turn. So that's the that's the the drawback of him using that. But he does a lot of attack. He does a lot for his regular attack. So because he can hold two swords. The bird man. The bird. Oh, oh, the the Smilhawk man. Yeah, he's he's quite he's quite the beefy boy. As I warned, this, this fight's gonna be long. Every boss in this game has been just like straight up a long fight. Now he's gonna attack. But he'll be dead. I, I have a feeling that we're almost done. I'm begging him to be almost done. <laughs> he is almost done, I'm sure. The, um... The story reason for this guy being so strong is that the, uh... That he was given a dark sword at one point, and... That made him go a little... That has changed his personality entirely. And it turns out he was given to it by the uh, main villain that we have met now, uh, from before. It's uh, it's improved his his overall. He was already pretty strong before, but now he's just straight up power. Now he's just straight up powerful, and uh, he's one of the four things he has. He can be killed. <laughs> are you sure he can be killed? Are, are you asking if I need to, uh... <laughs> he can be killed. I I'm sure of it. I've never... I've actually not finished this game ever, so we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out together. Crap. This spray is flammable. Oh god, that... Mm, that's probably a line. That... That sounds like a working designs line. June. It, that working designs is who published this game. Uh, that sounds like a line they would have added. <laughs> this game that's good. The other thing with his uh, with his his uh, heal spit is that when he heals himself with that, he's actually healing more to himself than the rest of the party. So that's a that's the other thing to worry about. Um, give it to her.
I think it's something like that. It's most likely the target. It, it's a max HP sort of thing. She's squishy. If Ammon dies, I'm not actually worried about it. Ammon's Birdman. Back there. He's sort of extra here. Um, if, if he just happened to... Okay, I've used everything. Just kind of scale back up. Let's go ahead and heal. Uh, four fiends of the ones I can think of right now. Um... This is probably... I don't want to call him Lich, because that's probably another one coming up. Um, this is like Kraken, maybe. <laughs> Unless you're talking about um, Final Fantasy IV's fiends, then the, let me think about that one. Uh, this guy would be... Kaznado, probably. Alright, I'm about to run out of burst flares. This guy better die fast. Okay, so yeah, if you talk about that one, I, I call it the second one, the water one. Uh, listen, I, thought, I thought that was it for a second. It paused for a second to load, but that was just loading him. Four, if that would be that one. Because, yeah, um. Rubiconte would be somebody else. I was about to attack him. <laughs> and Skarmigleon would be somebody else. Sayara, it is the return of Balin. And uh, Balin is lasting for a very, very, very long time. Like, he is not dying. <laughs> He's decided death is not for him in, in, at all. He does die. I know he does. <laughs> Alright, this is my last burst flare for right now. Let's do it. No, it didn't. Dang. Ooh, you know what? That's a good chance. I might use one.
think I will use one. It's okay, I know she's at 80 HP. Let's try these attacks first, and then... Okay, we're gonna use it. <laughs> I'll get more of these. Honestly, I think he should start bailing. I just restored her uh, MP to max. He's trying to aura, 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 but I think we're going to uh, burn him. has this fight been? <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, how long has this actually been? It's been for a while, I know. Hey, Polly. Yeah, this this fight's been like a while. <laughs> oh, he's grand swinging again. I'm making sure of. Okay. Good. This fight's been going for a while. It's not just me. Thirty-one minutes, okay. That's what I'm just making sure of. I don't think this does anything extra if I'd use it, but I'm gonna try it. That's for attacking all enemies, but okay, yeah, it's just like 85 damage. Grand swing. He's using grand swing more, so yeah, this should be. I said that he, when he started using it, that he'd be almost done, but no, cool. he's been actually, like, going for a while. <laughs> we were never on world record. Uh, this game does have a speed... I actually did look to see if this had a speed run, and I think it does, but it's, like, kind of long. Just using Grand Swing now. That that I think tells me that he's starting to wane.
You see me? Oh, uh oh. That's not good. That's not good. Mmm, that's not good. He used that quickly. He got that turn in very quickly. The X, the the X honor, it's great. <laughs> Just a little bit of a buffer. Okay. There is spit on the party. There we go. Grand swing again. He's starting. He's he's starting to wane for sure. Use one of my peppermints. So I want to save those magic shields because those are actually like the best. That's like the best buff. Just for a buffer. So, uh, what's everyone's favorite uh, long JRPG boss fights? Got any, uh, got any fun ones? <laughs> this is actually, I, I will say this though, I, I did say the bosses are all pretty long. Um, this has been the longest boss fight so far. Smithy's a fun one. The, the second form of Smithy, that's a good fun one. Because you have the you have the multiple pieces you have to take out in that one. Nick's Avatar. Hey Poncho! And Nick's Avatar took a while. I could 
use actually a uh, MP healing item on uh, on Pike there, so he can get that MP back. Yeah, you got yeah. I've heard many things about the Octopath final boss. I've never I've never fought that boss uh, myself, but I do know it exists. Shido being too long. Um, the Super Boss in Symphonia. Is that um, either a Sword Dancer or is that um, Obsidian? Abyssian. Proper true in game. Wow. Hmm. You know, what? I'm going to take this chance to. I remember when I when I played through um, SMT three uh, SMT Nocturne for the first time. Uh, Luc the Lucifer boss is quite long because uh, I, I did that. Yeah, the devil's yeah the devil's arms, uh, the devil arms. That's the one I was thinking of. Rivers in the Desert, like, is probably my favorite song in, uh, in Persona 5, so uh, I'll pick that. As far as the battle themes go, that's my favorite one. But yeah, Lucifer in uh, SMT3 is a long fight. <laughs> is this boss bugged? <laughs> um, oh, I posted a, uh, um, I I've been going through uh, Trials of Mana finally, the, the remake, and I posted the uh, Bill Ben boss fight. I had a uh, bugged Bill. I had a bugged one. I had a bug that happened after I used a specific attack. It just, I think it was Bill who stayed alive, and he was just attacking and not doing any damage at all. But I couldn't leave the fight or do damage to him. <laughs> the Noah fight. Oh, the SMT3 Noah fight. Okay, it happened to you on, on another fight as well. Um, I went, I don't know what the conditions were on that, but um, if I remember right, I used a, uh, I used a, a class attack, and like bro, like or something. It may have been something like that. I know I used a class, a, a class attack on her. With um, I think it was a uh, Duran. I used. that fight. Alright, lightning attacks back. Guess what? <laughs> Whoa, look at that experience. That was 17,000 experience points. <laughs> that was 17,000 experience points. <laughs> Pike has gained how many levels? <laughs> I think I might actually be underleveled. Three, four, two, three, four, five. 
six. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Four. Five. Wow, everyone gained about five levels from that fight. <laughs> so I think part of it might be that I was underleveled. But we'll see. We'll watch this guy die. He's working on it. <laughs> Put your security in the mood. Oh, okay, bright light. Sorry about that. Hey, good news. That was the uh, first fight out of four. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> if you're watching in a dark room, I actually have the lights off right now. It's dark. So yeah, sorry about that. That, was, that hurt me as well a little bit. I should be. I am. I am used to it. I guess. But uh, yeah, it, it is. It it is definitely kind of hard if you're not like expecting it right there, especially in a fast way like that. Yeah. Holy crap! We okay. So I was about level thirty. F I don't even know. But now we're now we're at thirty nine. I don't know, I forget what I was at the, at the beginning of this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, uh, that boss, uh, kind of upped the, e upped our current, e <laughs> current health. Heck, Pike's now, uh, crossed 1,000 in his health. I think he was less than that before. In fact, everyone, excuse me, everyone is now past 1,000 for their max health. I was wondering how the actual, yikes. Uh, I think I was underleveled. <laughs> so silence and resurrect. Okay, resurrection. I think I do have to walk out of the tower, though. Unless I have something to help with that. <laughs> they are not wearing their masks, and they are not... I mean, I have gags. I, I do have gags. You can use them. No, I can't use them. I can only drop them. I, I, I want to use. I guess I am sort of underleveled, but I mean, is that so bad? Put that hero shield. <laughs> Got five of them. Perfect. Ooh. 
Oh, that, that attack increase is high. I might need some extra ones, you're right. Let's see. Keep the overload drink for now on her. I guess our main uh, heal all spell is Grizz just spitting on the party. <laughs> Alright, now I have to walk out of the tower. Isn't that great? I mean, now we're doing more damage. are pretty good. Alright, but I, I, okay, just for everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the best attack animation. The best attack animation. <laughs> it didn't do much, but it's perfect. And then for anybody who missed it, the uh, best, uh, the best uh, victory animation is hers. <laughs> I think Compa does, if I remember right. She does. She does have that little mini ho ho ho. -ho. Here's the JoJo reference again. Star Platinum over here. I'm gonna attack again with her. Just because it's adorable. Right, let's try this. If he did, then uh, the world would be his to command. I'm kidding, okay, that's the only JoJo reference I'm making. I swear I've actually not seen any, like, part three. I've played the fighting game, that's about it.
These are uh, moshing dodos. I've seen part one and uh, part two. I I've seen that first season, which is uh, part one and two, and I was like, okay, it's fine. Is that what the Dreamcast fighting game is called? That's the one I played. That's the one I have. Right, that's like a four floor tower. I have to remember that for the other ones. So that was the first tower. There's our airship. Let me go there. Is it the west tower or east tower? It's west. This tower right there. This tower right there. There's a tower right there. Yeah, that's the Capcom one, yeah. That, that, yeah, that's the game I have. Just skip it. <laughs> if you think this is bad, you should see me doing the airship in Final Fantasy VII. That, that, I'm insufferable with that one. Nauseating. It probably is. The bird doesn't actually fly like that. That's just me doing it because I'm, you know, insufferable and fun. <laughs> we made it to the end. Actually, before I do item shopping, I'm going to save again after I do item shopping. But, so, this is the level I started at with, you know, kind of streaming here. A little bit. I did save again, but that's where we started. And now that's where we are. <laughs> so that boss fight uh, and the dungeon itself uh, got me those levels. I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> I was probably under leveled, is what I'm is what I'm saying. But I still beat it, one try. Which means I'm I'm good. I'm good at I'm good at the video game. So what time is it right now? Ten thirty, and I've been streaming for about an hour and a half. Yeah, he had like seven. That was like seventeen thousand exp. And that's for every party. That's actually for every party member. That's not divvy. That's not like divvied up into f into uh, five parts, or it's not divided by five. That's every party member got that amount. I'm trying to find the item shop. A gaggle of party members is looking for the item shop. <laughs> no, that's the that's the one guy's house. That's the guy we we took the airship from because we needed it more than he did. There's the item shop. It's right by the, it's right in the bar. Oh wait. Ration kits are actually very useful. This guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> Thanks, working designs.
right. I'm gonna save again. And actually, I am going. I'm still gonna continue streaming here, but I'm gonna take a small, like, five minute break. So I'll be back here in a little bit. So I'm gonna stretch out and just kinda. I'll still be here. Uh, I'll still be here to go use the restroom real quick and. I'll be right back, and I'm going to leave you with a picture of Sega Sasanshiro while I do that.
That's right, he is judging you for not buying enough Sega Saturns. No, that's green, there we go. There we go. All right, we are back. I'm still in this town. So, we did one tower. I'm just contemplating real quick that I have to do, uh, we have to do three more of those. Just a little bit thinking about it. Let's see, where is it? Here we are. So, West Tower. Sounds good. Healed. We're at a much higher level now. <laughs> Let's go make a lizard spit on, spit on the party members again, a couple times. Holy crap, it's a clown. It's a clown, everyone. What should we do about the clown? I think you can do them in any order. Um, I don't think there's any order to do the uh, tower specifically, but... Christian is in this tower, so we, we should probably come here. But June, what, what, what clown... What, what job should we give the clown? <laughs> clown. Clown. A politician job. Oh no. Wait, did you just say the doors are not one way? Oh no. <laughs> oh great. CEO of car company. Well then. Scared. Wait, I just come back here? Yeah, I did. Oh, crap. Uh, if I get a second one of those, it's over. Now, would it be like a car? No, I'm thinking about it real quick. Would it be a car company? Or would it be a car salesman? Like, like a like a dealership, like owner of a dealership. Because those guys are clowns. Okay, fair enough. Car companies aren't much better, okay. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'll, uh, I'll concede there. I'm 
sorry, I have to take out the bikini. I have to take out the bikini Valkyries. Sorry. They're in my way. came through that door. Ooh, a miracle mango. That's good. John sent me a message. It's a very good message. I'm actually going to save us some time, so uh, you can thank me later. See, M is at least good for uh, group groups of enemies, uh, since he has a free attack that can just attack everybody. For about equal damage. It's less than his actual main attack, but it's still good. <laughs> yep, this comes the size of death. This is a monster in a box. Yep, 
Okay. Watch this guy again. Maybe a little more than a yug. He opens wide. in empty chest. I saw there was going to be a door maze, so I said nope, and I opened up the FAQ. Just to let you know right now, I'm using the FAQ on this. That's why I know what I'm doing. So it is to, uh... <laughs> I am using it to... Make this easier on us. <laughs> I know you are. Like I said, I have no problem using the FAQs. I, I tend to not these days, um, actually. But I sometimes just keep one open because you know I I, I want to feel like it's like in the late in the late nineties, early two thousands, and I have to use game fat and I want to use game facts because life is simple when I can use game facts and not be judged. <laughs> use AOL. That is true. I am not using AOL for this, so it is not the definitive experience. I have not printed this out with my parents' computer and printed it along with the neat ASCII artwork that's at the top. It is actually pretty nice on this FAQ. Their, their ASCII game is good. a normal door. I got the skull killer. Lower right exit out of this room. And follow the hall to another door. And here there are two chests containing magical robe and phalanx. Or phalanx. I always say the word phalanx wrong. See, the main game that we did that with was Pokemon. Um, at least at that time. Um, and... What other... What else did we do? What other video games did the kids play? I, I knew one kid who actually played Dragon Quest like in fourth grade, which is kind of awesome now that I think about it. <laughs> that, was, that was before even I did. That kid was hardcore. I'm thinking about it.
It was almost four. It was a little above above four four twenty. Deep labyrinth. Wow. Um. That's one I don't have. Holy crap! That's one I don't have. Um, I've never actually played that. I know what game you're talking about, though. Because I always confused it for the Dark Spire, and that's a completely... It's a different game. It's a, another dungeon crawler, but that's... It's not. <laughs> that is a different game. I'm going to have to go find that. In my hunt for DS RPGs. Um, I am still missing a few. All right. All right, fair enough. I'll, uh, I'll definitely think about that. Next time I can... I can, uh... Go look for... Old video games. Okay. There is actually no special thing in here. throw up a... I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, changing up some things here real quick. I guess I can't use a ration kit here. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm going to do a couple things, though. Oh, it's we're not stabbing a clown. I know I know who's next and we're not stabbing a clown. She's doing that. Hold on. Mm, okay. I actually did take a little bit of a look to see what she's doing, and I know what to do. I, I, I know how to set this up. I forget that he is automatically immune to status effects, so I'm going to do this. Yeah, he, we, we've run into the clown before. We know we know who the clown is uh, led by, so we're gonna go take her out now. The clown's mostly here for taunting. We had to go to the circus once and uh, beat beat up some clowns. It was a pretty good quest. Here we go. There she is. <laughs> See, I, I knew I had to do the West Tower because I, 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 I knew what boss was here. that be the start of this uh so the bosses are long just just know that <laughs> give me a second so one thing i'm worried about was her uh <laughs> See what she used there. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with. Let's 
probably should have done is drop a uh, magic shield. I'll do that next. Back to the with her. I see uh, everyone is excited for this boss. I wonder why. I'm curious how much magic will do to her, though. I don't think we'll do much. I know what the people want. <laughs> I had to take care of the I had to take care of uh, the one boss first to get the, all the experience, and then we can come to this boss. Black's domain. Here we go. Oh, that is dangerous. Okay, that's very, very, very dangerous. Yikes. Okay, that's a lot. Give me one second here. God, I wish Sayara. The gag probably won't work on her at all. I could try, but I'm gonna think about this real quick before I do anything. I don't think it's the role she feels. I'm pretty sure it's not the role she feels either. You're right. I mean, I'd like it, but you know. Okay, so actually, the fun thing about Grizz. Um, first off, he does have that big healing spell, but that's another thing that he specifically has. Uh, he cannot be affected by status effects. So we're gonna take advantage of that. Ah, <laughs> uh, I might use a banshee. I don't want to use that, but mm. okay. Killer name for Dominatrix. Krishna. I'm actually use Quickster on Grizz here. So I want him to be quick and fast. Not Thunder Breath. She just laugh. She does do the laugh. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'll try this. Let's see what happens. Yeah. That's all right. I can see this boss going a little differently than the other one already. That one's more Trish, and this one is more status effecty. Yeah. I think it's not great damage. It does more damage than her regular attack, probably, though. Game is not very descriptive on its items. That's its problem, not mine. 
I'm going to use this on you. Because you're going to heal. Unless everybody dies, and then in that case, you're going to play the Grizz game. We're going to play the Grizz game. I like playing the Grizz game, so it's okay. Force Blade. Oh, that's a that's a buff, isn't it? I don't like it when they buff. There we go. That should help us a little bit. I actually forgot he had that. <laughs> I was like, oh wait a minute, he does have he does have status healing I, uh, magic. She's got armor. I mean, it's not like the best armor, but you know, she, she's working on it. She knows what she likes. You know, I, I appreciate her. She knows what she likes. She's got good hair. She's got really good hair. Actually, if I can get her in like a in like a loop on doing that. That'd be great. Yeah, this is a Sunsoft game. The music should be bopping more, but that's okay. A day at the beach is no day at the beach, though. You know. I just want to try this attack. Let's see, Skull. I want to see Skull Pulse. Oh, crap. Here's Black's Domain again. Holy crap. Stoned. Okay, look. I'm gonna heal that stone first before anything else. There we go. Oh, darn it. No, it's not that bad. It's still not that bad. Alright. 
Let's see how this goes. This is a new boss. This is a uh, a later boss theme. Uh, we've only had a couple boss. We've only had like one boss before the that previous one play this theme. So this is a, just a different set. This is a new set of boss theme. Um, I expect this boss theme to be the same for the other other bosses as well. Um, this is like the second boss. This is like the second major. Like the second boss theme though. <laughs> probably. I, I have a I have a sneaking suspicion. Um, I'll probably be okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna set some stuff up with her. I have bad feelings about what the boss might do later. Not so bad. only goes once or so. Or maybe it's lax domain canceling out or something, I don't know. Let's try it. I'm not sure why it's saying enemy revived. But it seems like it's just making the, uh, it's just when the status effect is removed. <laughs> Thighs are reviving. Getting stronger. Hmm, that might be it. I got my own force blade. Oh crap, Astral Ring. Uh, I, don't, I can't watch. Okay, no, we're good. Okay, Ammon's down. 
That is okay. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find out how much EXP those thighs have. She's stoned. He does not. However, he is immune to status effects, so that does actually that that's his main other other thing. <laughs> Time magic is uh like this is like a speed down. Drop this here so we can. gotta power up those thighs. That's what she's doing. Stoned again. And sleepy. Stoned and sleepy. Yep. We all are. I'm hoping not, because I'm pretty sure she could, like, crush my neck with those thighs. And no, Actually, now I'm thinking about it. I'd be alright with that. That'd be an alright way to go. snaps your neck and just snaps your neck straight out. I'll be alright with that. <laughs> we think the same. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh crap, they're both. 
That's not good. We do think the same, and I, I don't know if that's a, uh... <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> it's alright. Alright, I'm going to do... you. I actually haven't seen her item use animation, that was cute. I have no idea what you mean. I, I'm a good boy. I am a good pure. I am a good boy. No, I'm not. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie about that. I'm not. Polly think. hasn't gone yet in a while. So I'm a little worried about that. Let's drop a healing breath, though. I need Pike to go so I can so I can do a uh, restore before. I actually can do a Vibes Domain. Doesn't, but I'm a very good boy. Yeah. That for anger. All right. Yeah. But I am a very good boy. not a good position to be in. That's true. Dragon cannot be stopped. Actually, we might just be relying on Grizz. Or if she can kill one of them, I can I can at least revive. I'd be alright with that too. <laughs> Dragon solo, let's go. You know what? He can probably do it. The game will go faster. Because uh, he's unaffected by Black's domain. Not Astral Ring, though. No, that, that'll still kill him. I can revive and then that'll at least be good. Although she can keep doing that, if she keeps doing that, I'm okay. <laughs> He's a 
dragon boy. I'm, I'm not sure. I guess, do dragons have cold blood like, like lizards do? I guess that's the, that's the, the, uh, that's the situation there. Alright, I'm gonna have to heal the next turn. So, I'm actually gonna use healing breath to do that. Fortunately... It makes sense to me. Sound of solo Grizz. Let's see what status effects they get this time. Great, now she's stoned too. Well, great. Yeah, I know. I know it doesn't. I know. It do I know it does. If she starts using vortex multiple times, that's um. That means she's close. I can do this. I've already one shot. I've already done this with bosses in this game. Is use Grizz. I can revive Pike, though, if I need to, and start refreshing, but I have a feeling maybe I don't want to do that right now. I actually don't think so. I actually don't think so. Um, I'm pretty sure dead characters won't get EXP, and I'm pretty sure stone characters don't either. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, good, he's immune to that too. Just hoping he doesn't get killed doing this gambit here. That's probably true. So I might have to drop another uh, healing for this particular. If I'm if I'm above, oh no, we're we're dropping another heal. starting to go faster than us, that's the problem. Hold on. Good idea. The problem is that if she uses two of those in a row, I'm probably dead.
Alright, sounds good, June. Oh, yeah, but yeah, it's 5 a.m. You better go ahead and get going. You have a good rest. You have a good rest of the night. Or morning, whatever it is. <laughs> whatever it's gonna be for you. Oh, yeah, some SMT bosses are gonna use stuff like that. <laughs> you don't know either. Good luck. Well, best of luck then. Ooh, yes, use Vlad's Domain. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want you to keep doing. Yeah, um, a lot of bosses in SMT3 will use, uh, certain skills to just, like, keep throwing turns at their own, at their own selves. They can't get pressed, they can't do, uh, weakness turns on those, but they can, uh, they can do funky things with those sometimes. Not yet. One more peppermint. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've seen that before. <laughs> I don't know what specific boss will do that, but, um, it will, uh, yeah, that's, that's something I've seen video of. I don't think I've ever had that done to me myself, though. So. Yes, he's live domain. Perfect. There are skills I want this boss to use. <laughs> Vlag's domain, poison cloud, um, it's great. That vortex, though, does a lot of damage. And vortex is a party hit attack, too, so that would actually do damage to everybody. It's Mott. Yep, that's Mott. Nope, I, I know what boss that is. Uh, there are two really hard bosses. Like, there are two really hard bosses. Everybody talks about an SMT noc uh, Nocturne. Uh, one of them is Mott. Okay, I've got one more peppermint here. Oh, I have, uh, you know what? I do have Miracle Mangoes. Use peppermints first, then use the miracle mangoes. But I think I can do this. Yes, perfect. But yeah, that's the uh, demon in a coffin. That's Mott, and Mott's a uh, a scary one in that game. And that's in uh, what dungeon is that? That's um, that's the Diet Building dungeon. Lots of mini boss in there. Matador is the other one, and Matador is a very early boss. Um, I actually don't think Matador is that tough. Uh, if you're used to SMT, you're like, at that. Like Matador is the boss to teach you that hey, you should probably buff your speed. <laughs> that, uh, that's basically what Matador is a lesson in. Because you want him to miss most of his attacks. And if you buff speed in that game, you can, uh... You can get that one. After, uh, Matador, though, you have to fight Thor. And Thor's are really hard. I, I think Thor's a harder boss. That's the boss I actually got stuck on for a while. Not Matador. And then after, Ma after Thor, you have to fight Dante. And he's he's hard. Uh, 
In uh, in SMT three, you're only casting Sukukaja. Um, because uh, the buffs and debuffs actually target all party members in that game. Uh, doesn't matter what kind, and that doesn't matter using Ma or anything. And yeah, Dante from Devil May Cry. Uh, in the uh, in S in the uh, remaster coming out, it'll be uh, it'll be uh, Raido Kuzunoha, <laughs> which I'm also like completely fine with because Raido Kuzunoha is like rad as hell. The Kudlak missions. Oh, hey yo, hey yo. Pike's party won the battle. <laughs> Grizz only get. Oh no, Grizz gained that experience points only. Oh no. <laughs> the scream is good. <laughs> Grizz deserves it. He he. Grizz is vi is the uh, MVP in that battle. He tanked. He tanked and also healed himself. Use all the peppermints, though, so that's a problem. I'll have to figure that out later. It was Sunsoft in 1996. They had to do something. Or maybe it was 95. I don't even know what year exactly this game came out in Japan. Ah, uh, that's, mm, yeah, that's right. Oh, shoot, it's this guy. The clown was that guy. We're gonna tell him why he's here. We're, we're, we're not gonna tell them. Don't know the story. <laughs> nick, nick. Great. Tower two. I still have two more of those. <laughs> I'm working on it. They're tough, but they're good. Uh, what level is Gris? Gris is at level 44 now. The rest of the party's at level 40, <laughs> so they're gonna have fun. <laughs> they're, they're, we're gonna be all right for right now. Let's, let's, let's heal Pike. He needs it. <laughs> It's a new weapon for him. Finally get her out of that bikini. Tower now. 
We gotta walk back. Although I don't think this can be too bad. Try this big. I'm gonna try this big spells with uh, multiple enemy groups just to have fun. Ooh. Nice. I think everybody's gonna gain some levels uh, while Grizz just stays at level 44. Wait for everyone to catch up. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Let's go heal before we do the east and north tower. But I'm, I'm actually going to be almost done here tonight. I'm not going to do the I'm not going to do the next towers right now. All right, hold on. Drifts around the world map. There we go. Mm. I can't resist. Resist. It's, what you, it's what you do with an airship. Do sick drifts around the world map. You can't do those in Final Fantasy 4, but you can do those in Final Fantasy 6. I think. In 7, you can for sure. here. Let's watch that level go up. <laughs> level 44 for Grizz. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you can drift from Final Fantasy 6, yeah. It's got that mode, you got that mode 7 fun for all the world maps in those games and that game does the best. All right. Well, I think for now, on there, um, that's like an almost three hour long stream. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and probably call it a night here, I think. Um, well, thank you all for joining me for just a casual JRPG playing night. This isn't that fun, it's gonna be sit down and watch Tom play a JRPG and only do two bosses because one of them takes 40 minutes long, apparently. Like, that was a really, really long boss fight. <laughs> I, I have to go back and look at how long that actually did take because it was a while. But hey, first try on both of those boss fights. And then the whip, then uh, Krishna was there and she, she whipped us into shape. It was good. And then we revealed that I am not the only person who would be crushed by those thighs and be okay with it. <laughs> so we learned a lot today. <laughs> Probably too much. Alright, well then. <laughs> You'd be mad if I died in that fight. <laughs> I, I, I would have been a little mad. I, I would have probably, like, 
popped in Trials of Mana instead and just like, fine. I guess I'm not doing this today. <laughs> but we did it. It was good. So I think other than that, I think I'll go ahead and let y'all go. So you're all, you're all free. You can go do what you want now or go sleep, which I think I might be doing here sometime soon. <laughs> but uh, everyone have a good evening. A good rest of the night or uh, morning, whatever time it is uh, for y'all. And uh, you all have a good... I hope y'all have a good rest of the day tomorrow. If so, because, you know, we have the... Uh, we have um, the top 99... Top 100... Yeah, top 99 games of the decade. That's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun listen, so... Uh, night, y'all. See ya at some point. Probably Monday. <laughs>